Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. Welcome back to part two of Laws of Exponents. Okay, let's look at, um, we're going to continue on with our examples. So example 13, express an exponent form with a prime number base. So basically what we want to do is uh, we got to turn that into uh, some kind of prime number. So 25 we know is the same thing as 5 squared, right, all to the third power. So um, 2 times 3 is going to give us 5 to the 6th power. Okay, for b, that is 100 to the t. So 100 is the same thing as 10 squared, all to the t. And then 1,000 is 10, sorry, did I say 100 squared, 10 squared? Um, 1,000 is 10 to the 3rd. So this is 10, 2 times t, 10 to the 2t over 10 to the 3rd. So that is 10 to the 2t, and then remember, anything that's on the bottom, we subtract. So 10, that's 10 to the 2t minus 3, okay? 36 is 6 squared times v, so that is 6 to the 2v, because we just multiply those, all right? All right, moving on to some more examples, 14 and 15, right without brackets. So anything that doesn't have a power, let's write a 1, right? So we're going to distribute this 3, 3 times 1 and 3 times 1, so that's going to be 5 to the 3rd. That does not look like a 5. 5 to the 3rd, r to the 3rd for this one, okay? Same thing here, that's a 1, that's a 1. That is going to be 5, 1 times 2 is 2, and 1 times 2 is 2, y squared. 5 squared over y squared. Or, again, depending on how they ask, you could write it as 5 squared y to the negative second. Either one of those is fine. Okay, uh, 13 to the zero power. Remember, anything to the zero power, one. Okay, um, seven to the negative second is one over seven squared. I don't know if that's really simpler or not, but it, it, we're rewriting it so it doesn't have a um, negative exponent. So we'll go with that for now. Two over five to the negative third. So remember that's two to the first, five to the first, so that's two to the negative third. Because one times negative three is negative three over five. One times negative three is negative three. All right, so now what we'll wanna do is we'll wanna move this two to the negative third to the bottom and that five to the negative third into the top. So that's gonna be, on the bottom, is two to the positive third and on the top is five to the positive third. And then this here, five to the zero, anything is zero power, one plus five to the negative first is one over five to the positive first. So one plus one fifth is gonna be, we can either write it as six fifths or one and a fifth, either one is fine. All right, all right, moving on. Example 16, write in simplest form without brackets, so this is negative two to the first, all right? We wanna think of it as that. Negative two time to the first times t to the third. Remember this five's gonna to distribute to both of those, so that's negative two to the fifth. And then times t to three times five is 15, okay? So, um, write in simplest form without brackets. So we'll let, we could just multiply that out. Negative two times two is four, times two more is eight, times two more is 16, times two more is 32. So two to the fifth power is 32. And then you got, a, you got the five negatives. So each pair of negatives cancel each other out. So the first two cancel out, the next two cancel out, and we're still left with one. So that's gonna be negative t, 32t to the 15th, okay? Um, this one here, negative with all this, and we got, let's do this, three to the first, and then that's all the rest of those have um, their power. So let's just do this. We're gonna attach this negative with the three, right? Because that's the number there. So we're just gonna get rid of that and just move it up there with the three. So this is gonna equal negative three squared, two times three is r to the sixth, and then two times two is n to the fourth. So really that's gonna equal negative three times negative three is nine r to the sixth over n to the fourth. 
Okay, those do not have any brackets left, so we're good to go. Simplify using the laws of exponents. So the this x, let's make that x to the first. Six times five, we can multiply, as long as these are all multiplied together and there's no addition or subtraction in there, we can multiply these. Six times five is 30. X to the first times x to the eighth is x to the ninth. Okay? Um, 20a cubed b to the first over 15a to the first b to the fourth. Let's look at this. We can really kind of simplify this with three different little simplifications. So 20 divided by 20 over 15 is what? That's going to be four thirds. Right? Um, and really, let's do this. We can just write it as four thirds, not fourths, but thirds. A to the third over A to the first, three minus one is A squared. B to the first over B to the fourth is one minus four, B to the negative third. So we could write it like that. Probably a better way would be, since we have a four over a three, four A squared. Three is already on the bottom, and let's move this B to the third down to the bottom, and B to the negative third turned into the bottom to be B to the positive third. So that's probably our best bet, all right? This one here, c to the ter third times c to the fifth. Um, since these are not a power raised to the power, we're just going to add them, right? So it's going to be c to the eighth over four times. This is the one where we multiply. c to the fourth to the third power. Four times three is c to the twelfth. And then to simplify that, eight, it's c to the eight minus twelve, which is c to the negative fourth or could write it as 1 over c to the fourth, either one of those two. Okay? All right, let's uh, take a little uh, comedy video break, and we will come right back. Then he asked me, would you like to try trifocals? And I'm like, I must have been away a while, because I have no idea what you're talking about. He says, it's exactly what you would think. You can see at three different distances, depending on where you look through your lens. You can see close, medium, or far away. And I'm like, I can't even imagine getting used to that. There's a book, there's a plane, there's Elvis and Tori! <laughs> Do people need this kind of range? Is that a fly my nose? Is that a comment? Okay, let's take a look at uh, some more examples here. Example 18, right without negative exponents. So, let's see, this three needs our power of one because we have to distribute this negative three to each one of these powers here, right? So that's three to the one times negative three is negative three, and f two times negative three is negative six. So we have to write without negative exponents. So we have to turn this into one over, three to the negative third goes to the bottom as three cubed, f to the negative six goes to the bottom as f to the sixth. Um, and this is really probably fine you could multiply the three to the third out and put it as one over 27 f to the six. That would be fine too, but this, this works, so just fine. All right, m to the fourth, n to the fifth, p cubed, q to the negative second. If you'll notice, we don't have any similar bases, so we can't combine any of these. All we're gonna do is move this m to the negative fourth down and this q to the negative second up, right? So we're gonna leave n to the fifth on the top, p to the, Oh, sorry, uh, q to the negative second is going to come up here. Not g, but q. q to the negative, oh, now it's not negative second anymore because it moved from the bottom to the top, so now it's positive second. And then, let's see, we already have p cubed down here, and then this m to the negative fourth is going to move to the bottom and turn into m to the positive fourth. And that is that. Write this without a fraction. b to the sixth over c to the three plus x. So, again, bases are not the same. We can't simplify those that way, but we can leave b to the 6 on the top, and then this 3 to the x is going to move to the top. So it's going to be c, and then we have negative 3 plus x. So we could write it like that, or we could write it as b to the 6th, c to the negative 3rd, minus x, because we're just going to distribute this negative to both of those parts as well. So this is probably our better answer there. All right, last two examples here. Write without fractions. So we have all we have one, two, three terms up here, 
and one on the bottom. So what we're going to do is we're going to split these up into three pieces. So it's c squared over c to the negative first, 4c over c to the negative first, and negative 6 over c to the negative first. And then simplify it that way. 2 minus negative 1 is actually 2 plus 1, so that's going to be c cubed. That's c to the first here, right? 1 minus negative 1 is actually 1 plus 1, so that's 4c squared. And then there's no c's up here, so we just move this up to the top, and it turns into 6c to the positive first. So we just end up with that. Okay? And then this last one, 1, 2, 3, 4 terms. Again, all I'm going to write all these over t squareds. Make my life, it's gonna, it just makes this so much easier of a problem if I can split them all up. 3t to the fourth over t squared. Oops, and then that's really minus t squared. You can do this, plus the negative t squared over t squared, plus 5t over t squared, plus 1 over t squared. So again, if you can see, it's all of these things here are right there, and they're all just over t squared. So we're going to treat them like four different little problems. Okay, so we have 3, t to the fourth over t to the second is 4 minus 2, that's t squared. And then we have minus t squared over t squared, those um, simplify down to 1. That's 5t to the, oops, t to the first. So that is plus 5. 1 minus 2 is negative 1, so that's 5t to the negative first. And then this t to the second comes up to the top and turns into 1 times t to the negative second. We don't need the 1 because it's... It just doesn't uh, change anything there. So there's our final answer for that one. Okay. All right. That's all there is for laws of exponents. If you have any further questions, please feel free to ask. Thanks.